So in the last video we set up a very very simple button door where you press the button, the door disappears and we can move on with the level. But if we wanted something that was a little bit more exciting for the player and a bit more of a challenge. So instead of having a button, we're going to have a key. So we're going to insert a new object, scroll down to sprite, and we're going to have a key. Now what's going to make this key different from our button, I'm just going to draw a very quick key here. So that will do. I'm going to crop any of the outside edges. Is the player's going to actually have to pick this up and physically lift this and take it to the door. This is where it varies slightly differently. So how do we make the player do this? So we need to go to our event sheet, add a new event, and we first need to check if the player is overlapping another object, which is going to be our key. If it is, what do we want to do? We want to take our key and we want to change its position. So we scroll down and we should have the option to set position to another object and that's going to be our player. So we click done. So let's test this first. So we walk over to the key and now we're holding the key. Now we might not want the key to sit like that because that looks a little strange so how do we get the key to sit where we want it to sit so we need to edit our player so we're going to edit our player and click on this thing called edit image point now i've got two points already i'm just going to delete this second point for now so i'm going to add a new image point by right clicking on this origin point and i'm going to make this image point just next to the player here right at the end so this is going to say that the key is going to spawn here and it's going to spawn the center of the key here so i might want to go slightly further out to there it's really important because i've got animations that i right click and i apply this to all animations so let's test it once more and that's not worked because we forgot to change one thing we just need to make sure we come back to here and we change the image point to one now because we're looking at image point one so one more test and now we've got the key so we're holding that key the key doesn't mirror when we do so just notice that when we turn the key doesn't turn so we'll have to set up some other commands as well to check if we're holding the key and if it's mirrored but we won't do that for today next what we want to do is check if we're touching the door so we can just do another check to say if key it's overlapping another object which is the door what do we want to do? Well, we want to destroy two objects. So the first object we want to destroy is the door itself, so we can get past. But we also want to destroy the key, because the key's been used now. So press destroy, and then we're going to test it. So we walk over, grab the key, and then we go to our door, and the door's destroyed. We can get by to the end.